Ben Mahoney here at our Clear One Corporate Headquarters in Salt Lake City, and I've been challenged by Terry Mathis to see just how easy the ClearPath architecture is in the new Converge Console software. He thinks he can build a project in less time than it takes me to eat lunch. In fact, he has bet me that he can do it faster or he will buy my lunch. So let's put this challenge to the test on the next Clear One University video. All right, so what do you like? My favorite is the 13th. Oh yeah? That's what I'll get then. Hi, Terry Mathis with Clear One, and as you heard from Ben, I've challenged him that I could put this project together uh, before he actually ate lunch. I mean, you think about it, uh, sometimes out in the field, uh, we're trying to be more efficient, trying to get things done quicker and faster. Let's think about our lives today. We're always trying to get somewhere faster and at the same time, maybe keep it easier. We also want to pay for things faster and even order food in some cases, even eat food faster. In our conferencing world, there are many different types of scenarios and many solutions. But in some cases, you might have to configure a simple huddle room or a medium-sized conference room. But you may be also asking yourself, well, Clear One's changed their DSPs and their software, and I'm not really sure how to use it. Obviously, you want to attend one of our online or regional trainings to get certified, but I wanted to show you just how easy it is to configure a simple, small room con conferencing system and at the same time, how fast you can do it. Here's some of the products I'll be using today with uh, Ben's call. I do have a 48T, which is our Converge Pro 2 unit that has uh, four mic line inputs, eight mic line outputs. Uh, we're not gonna be using any mics with it right now. We're actually gonna be using the beam forming mic, which I'll have in the back. So especially a small, medium size room that you may be wanting to use. This is quick and easy. You can get that device up on the wall, the table, or the uh, ceiling, and that way you can utilize that as your microphone. It has to get power though, and that's why I'm gonna be using this, this PoE injector, not only to get power to it, but being on a P-Link, I'm gonna connect this uh, PoE into the DSP and then going out of it to the first P-Link device, which will be the beam forming mic. So not only will we get power, but we'll get audio and control out of that P-Link. Also on the back of the DSP is a USB uh, connection. That way I can connect to it, and that way be able to use a web conferencing software. In my particular case, I'm gonna be using Spontania from Clear One, but you could use any web conferencing software you want, and that's how I would be able to get the audio back and forth. Also, uh, the 48T does have telco capabilities. We do, uh, do make uh, other models as well, but in this particular case, I'll be using the 48T. Also, I do have two speakers, bookshelf speakers, because on the back of the 48T has speaker post, uh, because the 48T is a, an integrated amp on board, and that way it can just hook up a couple of speakers and a small to medium room, and I'm good to go. So it makes it very quick and easy. At the same time, I do have a little network switch here, a little switch I have available that I'm connected to the back of the DSP to get it on the network so I can configure it. It can be configured by the USB that's on the front of the actual unit, but in this case, I'm actually gonna put it on the network and that way I can connect to it and make my configuration. You also notice I do have a second laptop here, and this laptop is going to be used to make my initial call with Ben, uh, just to make sure he's ready to go uh, with his sandwich, to make sure that I can beat him as he gets started to eat. So I'll be connecting to him uh, through this laptop, and I do have a Chat50, uh, also Clear One product, is a device has a speakerphone that I can actually use that to make an initial call with him, and then we'll go from there. So let's get started and see if we can make all this work. So as I mentioned earlier, I need to uh, make an initial call to Ben to make sure he's got his sandwich to see if we can uh, still beat him with this particular scenario. So I'm gonna go to Spontania on my other laptop here. 
And I'm going to uh, make a call to Ben right now. So we should be able to connect to him in the room. He's already in the room ready to go. Uh, so let's check in. There's Ben. You there. Hey, Terry. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? So let me, uh, good. Let me just uh, expand your video here. So uh, there's Ben, uh, who uh, you saw at the very beginning of the video that uh, about the challenge. So uh, you know what? If I can't do this, Ben, I think I'll just actually buy your sandwich for you. Well, that was the arrangement, that's right? That's right. So uh, as you can see, I'm on this other laptop. I'm just using my little FaceTime camera that's on the laptop. Inferior camera and audio. We don't want to use something like that. Uh, but in this case here, uh, that's what you're seeing, uh, what Ben is seeing right now uh, coming off of that camera. So he gets to see my beautiful uh, in-home studio that I have right, right now. So this is what it's we'll start very with. professional. That's right. So as we do this, uh, we're going to um, uh, try to make that uh, uh, work out uh, as I do the hookups for him. Uh, we're going to then connect to the actual Converge Pro 2 unit, and we'll make a call later directly with that and see how that works out. All right, so Ben, are you ready? Yes, I have my sandwich. It's actually a wrap. It's a wrap. Kind of like a burrito. Got to mix it up every once in a I'm while. I'm not sure, right. but that looks like you're cheating there. That's only half a wrap there. So hopefully you got yeah. two. You. you know, I got to do what I got to do to... <laughs> Get a free sandwich. All right, so here we go. We're going to, I'm going to start the clock, Ben, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute uh, my video on this particular uh, laptop. I'm going to start making some connections, okay? Okay, All sounds right. good. I will start eating. Start the clock now. Here we go. All right, so I just muted my uh, video, my audio there, or video. So now I'm going to make some connections. So now I have uh, speakers. I'm going to got some a couple of speaker that I want to connect to the back of the uh, Converge Pro 2 unit. So I'm going to go left and right for that. So this makes it real easy to do because with this integrated out, all you have to do is just hook up some speakers. And then on the other side, I'll have the other speaker. So then I'm going to connect that one as well. All right, and as I mentioned earlier, we do also have uh, USB audio. So I need to use that to connect to the USB part. I'm gonna plug that into the DSP as well. Now, as I also mentioned earlier, we do have network audio. So I, I'm our network, I want to make sure the particular unit is on the network. So I'm gonna connect that to the uh, ethernet jack on the back of the mixer. All right, and then I'm going to connect the PoE injector into the PoE in of the actual uh, DSP. And if you'll notice, the light's blinking, but then I need to get the cable from the uh, from the actual beam forming mic is plugged into the beam forming mic plug that into p-link out so that's where I'm going to connect that at the bottom of the actual device and if you can see maybe see on the video that the blue lights actually lit up on the beam forming mic so now that's up and running so I have powered everything I got my speakers connected. I am on the network for that. So that part is actually finished. So all my physical connections are actually uh, finished there. So what I'm gonna do now is now go to Pro Console and actually make the configurations in the software and see if I can put that all together quickly so I can beat Ben and make this call before he finishes his sandwich. Now I'm taking big bites, Terry. Is the is the chewing sound too much? Is that coming into the recording? I don't hear it, so you're good. You're good. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> I'll take bigger ones. I gotta I gotta win this. So that's right. All right, so here we go. Now we're gonna go to console, uh, Pro Console, and actually configure the product. So now that we've made our connections, let's go to Pro Console 
so that we can actually configure this particular project. So first thing I'm going to do is just go create a new project. So I'm going to go create a Converge Pro 2 project, which is uh, different than our huddle. And in uh, Pro Console, you have the choice to uh, choose whichever one you want. In this case, we're just using Converge Pro 2. So if I go to here, I'm going to use my 48T as the uh, Converge Pro 2 unit that I'm going to use. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to choose one of those. Hit OK. So now that I'm in this project, I'll just rename the project. I'll just call this demo just for easy purposes here. But then I'm going to go to the devices in the stack. And instead of being called name one, I'll just rename it to make it simple to keep up with. I'll just call it 48T. So that's good enough for what we're doing. Again, we didn't have to worry about telco because all we're doing is using USB for this particular room. We are going to add a P-Link device. If you remember, we added the beamforming mic to that. And I'll just call that a beamforming mic 2, which is our 2 unit. And also, we're going to install that on the uh, table. Um, so that way, we can make sure we're doing the correct mount style there. So I'll hit OK. So that part is good for the stack. If I go to Resources and Partitions, so in this room, and I'll just re rename this. I'll call this. Um, demo room just uh, just to kind of keep it separate there just showing you can actually rename partitions there but if I'm gonna go by type now we're gonna go say well we don't have any really real mics in this so we're gonna use the beam farming mic so we'll add the beam farming mic to this room I am gonna use both channels of USB and I'm also going to use the speaker outputs so we have both speaker outputs so right now for this little simple project that's pretty much it that's all you have to do. You can rename some things. So if I wanted to go over to these speakers and just call this uh, speaker left, and maybe I want to call this speaker right, you can do that. You can rename anything you want. All right, so now let's go to matrix view. So if you look at matrix view, this is all my inputs coming into the, uh, the DSP on the left, and on the top will be the outputs. So my BFM, my beamforming mic, I want to go out to Ben on the USB. And also I need to have Ben come in from the USB coming into the speaker so I can actually hear him. So that's why we would make that cross point as well. But that's pretty much it. Now there's one last thing. We do need to make sure that we don't send Ben's audio from me back to him through the beamforming mic. So we do have to create a reference. So if we go to reference matrix right up at the top here, You'll see the direct output in this room are the two speakers. I only need one standard reference. And so that's going to be the audio I don't want to send back to Ben, which is the USB. His, in other words, he doesn't want to hear himself on an echo. So I'm going to now go to one of these speakers in resources and partitions. So if I go to one of these speakers, drop this down, I can now add a standard reference. So I add a standard reference, come back to matrix view. And I'm basically saying this is the standard reference audio that I don't want to send back to Ben. Just don't let it go through or go back through a open mic, in this case being the Bing Farming mic. And that's pretty much it on this uh, scenario. So what I would do is just go save this as this project. I would save it as, and I'll just call it demo as I mentioned before. And uh, we'll just go ahead and hit save. And then now that I've saved this actual project, I can go back up to select and I can connect to the actual live device. I'm connected it to the network and then I'll connect to it. Then after I'm connected to that device, I'm going to uh, then load that particular project to it. So we'll take a few minutes here to connect to it. A few seconds, sorry. Updating live values. Okay, so now I can now go to load. I go browse the uh, project that I just saved, demo. Hit open. Yes, everything is there. I'm connected to it. Load this to the stack. Loading project to the device. I take a few seconds here. Hopefully Ben will not eat his sandwich while I'm loading this project.
And now the uh, demo or the project that I just created is now successfully loaded. So now we can test it with Ben to make sure and make a call through this system to make sure it does what it's supposed to do. Okay, so now we made those connections and we made uh, the um, configuration in Pro Console. And also you may notice my voice sounds a little different. I'm not using my regular microphone. I'm using the beamforming mic that's actually doing my audio now. So that's how you're hearing me as well. So what I'm gonna do now is make another call to uh, Ben. And I'll join uh, Ben's room and my other laptop is still connected to it, uh, but I want to uh, actually connect to him uh, on the other, other one as well. So let's see if it comes up and here we go. All right. So there we go, Ben. You better hustle up. I've got like two bytes left. Oh, two bytes left, huh? Well, I take big bytes. So I changed my camera there. And also in my software, I had to make sure that my audio is using Converge Pro 2, which is the USB, and also the... Um, the, my camera was correct there as well. So now if you notice now, I've used my other laptop, connected on Spontania, connected to Ben, and Ben is there. So if you can maybe see Ben there, and go ahead and say something, Ben. How you doing on your sandwich? That's rude to talk with your mouth full, Terry. Oh, <laughs> rude to talk with your mouth full, huh? Wow, still a little bit left, but I uh, still beat it. So stop the clock. I think we, uh, oh. I think we, uh, I can uh, shove this in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. Do I still win if I get it all in my mouth? No, you don't win. I still win. So that's right. Oh, I'm so, so, way, so sorry about that. Either way, you can see how easy and simple it was to do that. It uh, takes a little wiring you have to do. Obviously, if you have a ceiling mounted beam forming mic, you got to spend the time to do that and things like that. But I wanted to at least show you today how easy this is to put together and also to, to make a call that quick as well. So if, you'll, uh, uh, if, if you want more information on some of these things, some of these products that we talked about today, always feel free to visit us on uh, clearone.com and you can find all kinds of information on that. Hopefully this uh, video was helpful for you and you see a little idea of how this works. So anyway, have a good rest of the day and thank you for your time. So how was it been? Are you finished? have those two bites left. Two bites left, all right. What kind of sandwich? It was a wrap. Wrap. Chicken right. Caesar wrap. Chicken Caesar wrap, all right.